What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is hopefully one video of two this week. I'm really trying to push through and get more videos out a week. Super busy at the shop today. We're gonna take a look at it. In just one week, a ton has changed. Let's go. Reception, we got furniture in now. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I got so caught up in my little camera trick. Maxwell's motorcycles. Got a logo, sign coming. Business hours posted. Big part of being a family man now, Saturdays I'm appointment only. My plan is to, you know, if you really can't get here during the week, I'll meet you, drop your bike off, and work on it through the week. I really wanna be able to spend time with my family on the weekends. In my head, that sounds like it works, but we'll see, you know, I don't know. Um, it also means maybe I can have like stuff going on on Saturdays and I get to hang out with people instead of just working all the time. Bone lines are in. I got a cash box. Computer comes tomorrow. I have a random thing of paper towels. So I want to do this weekly and I think I'm going to do fan mail and stuff during this shop video. Uh, this is probably actually coming out way later. Uh, that DHL box. It's cool stuff in there. Uh, that video probably came out first. Um, scored some stuff, uh, an extra chair, some artwork, and a table and a cure egg. My wall mount didn't work for the TV. So I had another, I had to order another one. Uh, I got a printer in too, I, don't, I didn't have that because last time there were drinks on there. Yeah. Man, moving up, got me a dadgum printer. All right. Oh, I got my flyer in too. So this is the Fallen Officer from Auburn. Uh, I still, I haven't quite ironed out the route from here, but the ride actually leaves from the old Big Swamp. That's, that's over in Opelika. We're riding the cemetery. Uh, I don't know how big the ride's gonna be, but you know, it's a nice little 45 minutes or so from here. So we'll meet up. More info coming, I promise. June 27th, that's when it is. Um, coffee maker, my grinder, boom, boom. Uh, got some coffee cups, other John brought over for me. Thanks, man. Oh, the actual owners, they brought me back the microwave. So that's cool. Now that this is on video, I realize I probably should have cleaned that up better. Uh, I actually did clean a lot today. Ha! Y'all making fun of my folding desk. Well, we're ready now. And meatless, I've been hanging out with some folks today, talking up some, some stuff coming up. Kids room got a little dust for their homework and some junk, apparently. I think keeping this place clutter free is probably gonna be a full-time job. Almost positive that the shelf I've put together since then. Oh, uh, got some service manuals. Some shelves for the service manuals. Uh, remember last week I was talking about how I want to do my talking head videos in here. So, I got a freaking desk, man. So I can do my talking head stuff while I'm sitting down at a desk. And the backdrop is a motorcycle shop. Perfect. Um, yeah. It's kind of it. Um, I'm actually, somehow, I stayed on the phone and stuff all day today and having a, no, quite frankly, it's time to go home because, well, it's not worth living here just yet. I'm not even making any money. I'm just making progress. So I'm gonna go home and eat dinner with my family, but for you guys, in half a second, we're gonna look at what's in these boxes and maybe some cool new stuff will happen for the shop this week. So just so you guys know, um, this isn't necessarily only gonna be fan mail in my head. Like this time and walking through the shop and showing you what's going on might be in the future. Some bikes that I'm working on, some stuff you guys might wanna see. As far as the fan mail part goes though, I have, I slacked hardcore. A lot of people send me really cool stuff from uh, over at the dealership, but I just never really had a chance to open it on camera. There's a ton in a box back there that I brought over. Some of the stuff, most of the stuff I've opened, I admit, okay. I'd love to act like I didn't open it unless I was on camera, but I did. And I thank you all for what you sent me. Speaking of which, not because I'm asking for fan mail, but because everyone wants to know the address, uh, if you do want to send something cool, but if you just want to swing by and see the place or you're ready to have your bike worked on, by the time this video comes out, I'll be ready. Um, 130 Gateway Court in Columbus, Georgia, 31909. Uh, a lot of people are asking if it's close to the dealership. 
uh, sort of not like right around the corner, but everything in Columbus is pretty close compared to other cities. So it's dealerships like 10 minutes down the road. My house is like five minutes down the road. It's, it's a very convenient area of town, which is important when you have a business. So this letter is uh, in response to the three tuners video I posted not too long ago. Uh, Pro Tuner, Fancy Nines Fuel Pack, and the Power Vision. Uh, the short of it is he gave me actual dyno numbers for his bike along the way. Um, I guess he was using a, he has stock numbers on his 103 low rider, horsepower 67, torque 85. He then went with a Bassani Road Rage 2, great pipe. You know, changed the air filter, did a Harley download and had uh, 77 horsepower and 96 torque. Not bad gains for a stage one. Um, you know, 10 and 11 is pretty solid for stage one. I know a lot of you guys ask me, you know, what to expect. It's hard to say, but he got them. Uh, he did a stage three and used the Harley Street Tuner, which is an older version available at the same time that the race tuner was. It's an orange box. You may or may not know what I'm talking about, but it is EPA. Um, you know, it it's, falls within EPA. Uh, he said it sucked. It, the bike barely ran, it was super lean, so he went with a Power Vision. Ha <laughs> ha! And his horsepower ended up at 96 and 110 with a stage three. Uh, he did not say what stage three he went with, and right now, off the top of my head, I'm not sure if that means he went to a 110 or not. But either way, that's that's a fun bike, 96 and 110. P.S. That Bassani pipe is the best sounding I've ever heard on HD. I'm a huge fan of the Bassani Road Rage. Uh, thanks for sending that in, Chris. You know, that it's a handwritten letter. He said he doesn't like to comment on YouTube anymore. A handwritten letter seems so much more sincere than a comment on YouTube, so I appreciate that. This is from Eric in Sin City. Uh, apparently I did manage to catch him through the emails and give him some help on some problems with his 19 Deluxe. I was during all, everybody was shut down. His local dealership was shut down. So uh, I'm glad I managed to catch him. Uh, I get a lot of questions and stuff and really a lot of it is, whether I answer or not is based on, oh, that's cool, a challenge coin from Red Rock Harley Davidson in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's awesome. I didn't, I've never even seen one of those from a Harley dealer. That's pretty cool. Whether or not I respond really is based a lot on how quickly I can respond and if I don't sound like a douche. Out of hundreds of emails, some of them really require a... That smells glorious. Barely see that label, but Mothership also from Las Vegas. That's cool to get local coffee. That's awesome. Thanks, Eric. My point though is if I can answer it quickly without sounding like a douche, I'll try to respond. I don't know what's in here. I should be careful with the knife. This is from, I already know by the way. Where is it? This is from Max over in Hawaii. He's the, I got the Sportster, he bought the Sportster. Cool man, my size, he'd ask me about it, extra large. Thanks, Max. Obviously, there's more than a t-shirt in here, though. Be uh, some from Hawaii, huh? Oh, oh, some Kona coffee. Man, he really did it up. Coffee, more coffee, more coffee. Passion fruit flavored pancake mix. More Hawaiian stuff. Snacks, man, which is good, because, so, since nobody's been here with me since I opened up, more coffee. Since nobody's been here with me since I have opened, not opened, I haven't been leaving for lunch. Fortunately, folks have been bringing me some lunch here and there. You know, Moto Sarge stopped by a couple days ago, he brought me some Chick-fil-A. Mama came by, she brought me some lunch, you know, things like that, so that if anyone comes by, uh, Figure some stuff out. I'm here. Oh yeah. More pancake mix, man. Got a lot of pancake mix. So yeah, snacks are, are very much appreciated right now, Max. You're no idea. Ooh, 
strawberry guava jam. Fun fact, my three-year-old really likes strawberries. Dry roasted macadamias with sea salt. Those are always a good snack. <gasps> Hurricane popcorn. That is sweet, man. My kids are gonna be so stoked. And I got a microwave in here now. Woo! Uh, I expect more, more jam. I'm gonna leave some of this package so I can take it home to them. Rainbow Falls Connection, what is this? Oh, honey, 100% pure Hawaiian honey. That's awesome. Red coconut balls. I'll try it, I'll give it a shot. Chocolate, man, dude, Max hooked it up. That is awesome. Thank you, man, appreciate it. I don't even know how you fit all this stuff in the box. I just messed it all up. I'm never gonna put this back in here. This is a good pack job. Address, 130 Gateway Court, swing by. Um, phone number, I don't know if I'm gonna give out the phone number. <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of you guys watching, there was a problem sometimes where the phone would ring and be somebody from somewhere crazy that wants motorcycle advice or whatever. And I've posted before about how you just, you can't make money on the phone all day. So I don't know about the phone number. If you have um, legitimate questions or, or work that you're wanting the shop to do, parts order or something like that then I, I haven't set up the parts thing yet. I'm still still working on that. But in the future, depending on when you're watching this video, um, hit me, shoot me an email. Uh, I really do try to get to those. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what, what I can, if I can actually do something for you. There's a lot of them though. So I, I obviously I'm opening a business and well, I'm gonna do better at them from this point on. It's kind of what I've been doing a lot of the last couple of days. So hopefully this is a weekly video. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video or not. Hopefully this is a weekly thing where we walk around the shop. I might open some mail if there is some. I might show you some bikes on the wall. Uh, bikes on the wall. It's bikes in the shop that I'm working on, some stuff. Uh, basically, just a little extra video while this cool stuff is changing. Eventually it won't be changing anymore. That's the plan though. Uh, if you like the plan, give it a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see some of that content and some of the more content that's coming out, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't quite got your fix, this video right here and here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.